Hello, Leos. This is your June 2016 monthly guidance reading. So this is for all Leos, um, sun, moon, or rising sign. This may or may not resonate. Um, so for the first card we have for the first week, we have 34, door to personal healing and happiness. So this is the energy for the first week. And I apologize for the lighting because it's a little late in the day. Um, as I'm recording this so 34 healing and happiness so the doors are definitely going to open for you in regards to um, this healing so what I'm getting for the first week that there's a lot of healing and transformation that's happening it's like a blessing in disguise or maybe you're you're seeing that now. Maybe in the past you were going through a lot, a deep depression or some sort of um, overwhelming clearing or purging. But now it's like you see the blessing. You see it for what it is. If you see the rainbow, you see it, um, the blessing that's there beyond this. And it's like a sense of relief now. You're you're feel like you're going somewhere. You're headed in a better direction. Three. Um, the number three here to me represents um, a spiritual guide or an ancestor. So I'm definitely getting that um, spirit has been guiding you and you've been listening to your intuitive guidance and it hasn't been easy for you. Number four represents the stability. You have angels that are also assisting you, archangels um, bringing you the stability and that's currently where you are right now. So... The additional message with that, we have time to go 45. So there is a divine change that's happening. There's a stability. There's a change in some sort of stability um, in your life. Four, again, is the number of stability. Um, also the number of the archangels, 44. Five is the number of divine life changes or a major shift. So that is what's going on. And it's saying time to go. It's time to move on to the next phase. It's time to leave that old baggage behind people circumstances things anything in our life that's old and tired we need to move past it it's time to go and the flags here um it's like you're at the finish line these flags you can barely see them but it's like you're at the finish line you reach your destination and it's time to move on for the week two we have 51 healer of ages so this is like to me, if you look at his hands, the fire in his hands is like transmutation of energy. Um, so you have the power to transmute your energy. You have the power to be your own savior, your own redeemer and healer. Um, if you believe in Jesus or you pray to Jesus Christ that you are seeking healing or this is the, the deity that is healing that has brought you um it's like your own savior. I really feel like this is you, your energy, the Christ consciousness, you being aware of your own divinity, your own healing, that you're able, you're capable of healing your own self, that you're, you're your own savior. No one else can save you but you. Of course, you have spiritual guides that are helping you and assisting you. But this transmutation, again, is like a shift in energy. New, There's a newness occurring. One is that Again, that uh, awakening, that illumination, also new beginnings, new beginnings, five and one together is six. So there's a harmony that's happening within you. If you look at their heart space, it's on fire. So it's like your heart chakra is is healing itself. It's transmuting from the past hurts and pains. And now it's, you know, it's becoming more open, more full, more harmonious. And this could also be twin flame energies. If you look in the back, there's two flames that stand. And this could be healing and transmutation within that connection. There's a healing that needs to occur to bring that harmony, that which you both seek or that you're seeking. And you are the only one that can change that. Okay, the additional message for week two, we have milk and honey. So again, it's kind of like that biblical energy I'm getting. Milk and honey, the land of milk and honey. So... It's a blessing. There's a blessing behind all of this. You see the rainbow again. Um, and it's like abundance of things that are occurring and happening in your life. You're seeing the blessings now. The healing was, it was meant to occur. 
um, number 51. <laughs> it's the same as this card. So the energy is the same. So the message still stands that you're seeing the manifestations of your healing that you had to go through this process. It's a blessing in disguise. It's bringing about a newness, a shift in energy and harmony um, in your connections and within yourself. You know, it's, there's everything laid out on the table for you. Okay. Week three, we have 27 walking away. Or, so it may be leaving a specific relationship behind. This could be um, a woman. If you're a female, this could be you walking away from old situations gracefully with love. And you're doing it with divine guidance. If you look here, these spirit, these orbs in the back, it's like spiritual guides that are leading you somewhere much better for you. And you're doing it gracefully. You're, you're doing it because your heart is healing and you're healed so much. You're not holding grudges. You're not holding on to things. You're not angry. You're happy. You're happy to move on. And you're doing so lovingly and gracefully. And it could be past partnerships it doesn't have to be one that you're in now or someone you're dealing with now it could be lovers from the past that you've healed yourself from those attachments any attachments and this because it's number two not only is it just you walking away it could be someone that you're dealing with walking away from certain situations in their lives and other connections number seven represents divinity this is a divine orchestration it's following that divine guidance um, two and seven is nine. So this is definitely about completions and closing doors and endings. Okay, so the additional energy of that, we have peace. So like I said, you're, you're, you're in a good place to walk away from certain situations. You're doing it with love and peace in your heart. This egg is like birthing something new. When you leave one thing or you close one door, you open a door to another. So this is birthing something. And that bird again, it's peace. Um, doves represent peace and love. So it's like you're you're peaceful as a result of this. You're at peace within yourself. Number 23, um, again, that, partner that partnership, this could also be the balance. Number two, the balance within yourself, balancing of your energies, feeling whole, feeling complete. And also number three, divine um, orchestration um, or spiritual guides, ancestors, ascended masters are always are with you when you add the two and the three you have five again this is all about that shift in energy that big life change as a result oops sorry as a result of that okay so i had to change the lighting i apologize so i hope this is a little better for you um so the final week of june this we have 38 the fourth shocker with Archangel Raphael. Again, more healing. This is the angel of healing and love. So in the heart chakra. So there, it's almost like what I'm getting is that you, you've been doing the work and you've been working with this angel. I'm getting as well. Working with this angel, working on your heart chakra. And it's pretty much them telling you that you've done a, a good job it's not telling you to do more work i don't necessarily feel i feel like this is a message for them telling you a job well done for your healing works because you're at peace so at the end of this month um this is just them telling you that you've done the works that you've done the healing that is required of you um the additional message 29 to breathe so you're at this completion to where you can just rest now, rest in your energy, rest in where you are. So if it feels like a stagnation right now, it only means that it's time for you to just go within and just rest. There's nothing more else that you could do and that you're required to do and to just be, be here in the now. Um, 29, so it's, it's saying that the endings, there's a balance, a harmonization within you. Um, also within a partnership, it could also mean, and it's just enjoying and being in the now and that things are at its end and at its completion. So two and nine is like that illumination number, the, um, awakening number. So it's like, you're, you're aware of the situations. You see everything now, everything's coming to a completion 
introspection, like you can go within now and see everything, have that inner wisdom of why these things had to occur and just reflect this month. At the end of this month, you can reflect and go within and it also can relate. Um, this month, I feel like twin flame energies are very important for Leos specifically. So um, this could also, number two could mean the partnership and number nine, an ending of a phase within that partnership, because like I said, there was some sort of harmony that was occurring, a shift in energy and a new beginning with these two flames, hearts opening. So I feel like it is in relation to that. And it's also them walking away from a certain situation. And now there's a peace and there's some type of um, fertile energy. And this could also represent pregnancy for some of you. So um, if you're not looking to start, you know, if you're not looking to have a baby then I'll be careful but it's like this egg is like fertile energy and this could not just twin flames with partnerships in general there's like a newness here and you could potentially um, be wanting to start a family or that could happen that could occur during this time so what is the loving energy or the love message for singles and partners this month we have queen of staffs so this is the queen of wands their energy is very fiery. So this is a fire sign woman um, or feminine energy. They're very creative. They're very spontaneous, um, very charismatic. This is a creative person. The energy to me more so is like clearing the air, clearing the energy because she has like a pot of something and it's smoky. So I kind of get like smudging. She's clearing the air. It's like she's it's like taking action, a feminine energy, taking action upon something and clearing the air is what I'm getting. So there's something that, again, that transmutation energy occurring as well. So it's like clearing the air within your relationships or your partnerships. If you are a single, um, then this is clearing your energy, making way for new to come in. Clearing the past, walking away from past lovers, like I said, it does not have to necessarily be someone that you are with now and you're breaking up. It could be any attachments to old lovers. You're clearing your energy. You're taking that action to do that. Clear yourself and heal yourself so that you can welcome the new in. Okay, so that was the reading. Um, I hope that this resonates. I thank you so much for tuning in and all of your support. And I send you lots of love. You have a blessed month. Bye-bye.